podcast industry is worth more than $2 billion. And by 2024, it's reported that that number will double to $4 billion. So, now, why even start a podcast? You may know exactly why you want to start, or you may still be on the fence and just kind of think you might want to start. Here's why. Number one, it's an amazing creative outlet. In the podcast space, there are really no rules. Every day, it's a different type of podcast, whether it's a different idea or format or just a way that that particular podcaster is going about creating a show, it's wide open for creativity. Number two, low cost startup. Bare minimum, all you need is your mic and a phone. Now, I'll show you how to up your production value, but to just get started, it can be very low cost. Number three, easy to create and maintain. As you'll see in the course, creating a podcast is pretty simple. It's not as complex as some people try to make it. Number four, it's a growing industry. Back in 2006, it was reported that only about 22% of Americans were listening to a podcast. You fast forward to today, that number has risen to 78%. In 2021, there are 120 million podcast listeners. By 2023, it's estimated that that number will grow to more than 160 million. Number five, it's less competitive. Now, while the podcast space has grown a lot and still has a lot of growing to do, when you compare it to some of the other platforms like any social media platform or YouTube, it's still smaller, which is a good thing because as I'll show you, you could become a bigger fish a lot quicker. Number Number six, you can build a community. It's very well known that the podcasting space allows for a more intimate connection between the creator and the listener. So whereas in, on other platforms like YouTube, maybe uh, it's very fast paced and low retention, but not in the podcast space. You can really build a loyal following. Number seven, higher retention. Retention just means how long do your listeners stay around? When you think about social media platforms or YouTube, it's a lot less retention. A successful YouTuber is getting 50% of retention. He's doing real good. On average, we have 80% retention on our podcast. Some of our podcasts actually have some of our podcasts actually have 100% retention. Number eight, expertise. Number nine, authority. They kind of go hand in hand because whatever your podcast idea is. As you develop your show and record your show and bring on guests and talk to people in the space, you will start to develop more expertise and authority in that space. As a creator, this will take you a long way. Number 10, build industry connections. As you do interview guests, if that's what you want to do, or talk to experts, if that's what you want to do, it allows you to build those connections. But even if you have a solo podcast and you don't want any guests, you'll still have the opportunity to go on other shows because you've became an expert in your area. Number 11, build a brand. I mentioned the design thinking process earlier, amazing process. And by the end of it, you will have a solid brand for your podcast. And number 12, make money. In 2022, it's reported that the podcast industry is worth more than 2 billion. And by 2024, it's reported that that number will double to 4 billion. So you're early and it's a lot of great growth and opportunity. So what I have done is took everything that they taught me along with all of the personal experience, tips and tricks that I've gained along the way and compiled it all into this course for you.